Hi guys, welcome back to the answer video that goes alongside the questions I posted earlier this week. I just need to quickly mention that unfortunately somebody who won't be named accidentally put the wrong graphic into the video. As a result, the questions might be a little bit confusing, so I will be repeating them as we go along and answering them uh, in that way. Okay, so could you just start off by telling me what a correlation is? Uh, correlation, um, it's just a simple definition, okay? Yes, precisely. Uh, okay, so well then, correlation, very simply put, is when two variables, there's a relationship between, a linear relationship, I want to say, between two variables. So um, I guess as one goes up, the other one could go up, that would be positive. As one goes up, the other could go down, that would be negative. So whenever you are presented with some kind of visual data, anything like a graph or a chart or something with numbers in it, then you just want to make sure you give a really thorough reading, covering all your bases and then pointing out anything that's particularly interesting. So just making sure that you fully understood what's been given to you. Feel free to obviously ask the tutor questions if you're not sure, if there's something that you don't recognise, that's absolutely fine. It's just about you interpreting what's given to you. Okay, so take a look at the study. Give me your initial thoughts. Uh, sorry, can I just have a second? Sure. Okay, um, so I'm looking at... Uh, okay, well, so the graph is showing us chocolate consumption per capita against uh, the number of Nobel Prize laureates per 10 million of the population. Um, just looking at the graph, uh, it's showing that there's a... It looks like there's a positive uh, correlation here between the two variables. Um, and then there's further evidence of that because I'm seeing here it says r is equal to 0 0.791 so that's a Pearson coefficient and that would mean there's a positive pretty strong positive correlation between the two um, I can see there's uh, Sweden looks like a bit of an outlier um, like if I were to draw sort of a you know a trend line here I would say that's would be considered an outlier okay you can stop right there um, could you tell me a bit more about this positive correlation could you explain it now remember, this type of question can appear in lots of different interviews. The key thing is using theory from your degree subject to explain the answer. Do you mean just what is causing this correlation to appear? Or? Yeah, essentially. So, I mean, if it's a strong positive correlation, should the government be sort of encouraging chocolate consumption? Um, okay, so I, I, okay, so I know that, that a correlation can exist even if it isn't causal. So. Um, and I know it can be, but I'm not seeing a really super clear link between eating more chocolate and then, I suppose, a intelligence and then winning more Nobel Prizes. So I think that a better explanation might be that there's some sort of third factor that is causing um, higher rates of chocolate consumption. And then that also links to more Nobel Prizes. And my thought is maybe like richer countries, because obviously chocolate is a luxury good, well, it would be considered a luxury good, I think. So. Um, higher incomes in countries is going to cause maybe more chocolate consumption. I know Nobel Prizes is all to do with like how much research maybe funding goes into a country and then that's going to mean there's going to be more papers and more submissions to the Nobel Prize um, uh, awards each year. Um, so I think maybe a third factor. Okay, thank you. Um, what about Sweden then? Um, but Sweden, yeah, I think Sweden, um, they actually run the Nobel Prize Committee, so there could be a little bit of a skew towards uh, them winning more Nobel Prizes as well. Okay, yeah, that's great. So, of course, GDP is, in fact, a large factor here. Uh, could you expand upon this a little bit? Why might this be such an important factor? Yeah, um, okay, so I, think I, I kind of mentioned it, um, I feel like it's just sort of what I said, but um, obviously if you've got more, if a country is richer, they've, they've got a higher GDP uh, and a higher GDP per capita, then basically I would assume that they can spend more money funding public uh, research universities and maybe funding sort of um, more just research centres and institutions in general. And obviously with research is going to come more innovation and the sort of types of projects and things that do then get awarded Nobel Prizes in areas such as chemistry. Um, like the STEM industries and um, economics and uh, yeah. Right, okay, so uh, what about countries like China then? They're quite low in laureate winners. Could you explain this? Um, I don't know exactly how these are awarded. Um, if, they, are they, if they're allowed to, if they're just competing normally and they've got the same number of submissions going in as every other country and then they're also 
not winning. I'm thinking maybe China isn't focusing much of their research in the industries that are being awarded Nobel Prizes. Um, maybe they're more focused, because they're still a developing country, it could be that the majority of their GDP is more focused towards economic growth as opposed to uh, research and uh, innovation that's more typical in developed countries. Right, so how might you adapt or improve this study? Uh, well, if we want to know more if there's a causal relationship here, I know that we need some sort of um, a regression model that would allow us to isolate for other factors that could be um, influencing our results here. So that would be the main thing. And then I also think maybe that they could, if they wanted to use the same thing, they could have um, either collected individual chocolate consumption data for both the uh, nominations or those put forward for the Nobel Prize as well as those who then went on to win. I think we can learn a lot more from that. Um, or maybe they could find a better proxy for intelligence because it seems like that chocolate consumption, they're trying to like say that because it's causing higher intelligence then they're winning Nobel Prizes but there's so much that goes on with winning, winning a Nobel Prize maybe they just need to uh, All right, yeah, good use job. a different See proxy ya. basically. Right guys, so that was my answer section for this uh, question. Um, hopefully they match some of the answers that you've been practicing yourself. This is one that I would definitely go through and memorize because I've seen it just come up so many times and it's becoming more and more common practice because it's not something that you naturally learn throughout your level, but you should have enough kind of base knowledge to be able to answer some of these questions off the cuff and just talk through it uh, in a logical way. If you don't know, just say you don't know, but uh, most of these things, it's just about you figuring out step by step, giving reasonable answers, giving a thorough answer, answer looking at it in a balanced way and uh, just having a fun conversation back and forth with your tutor now just the final thing i'm going to be posting more of these interview questions and answer series uh, i would love to get your feedback on how what kind of format you guys want to see it and if i've tried to do it more like a real interview so i didn't actually know some of the other questions going into this i just knew the general ones and had someone throw me the questions as they went along as it would appear if you prefer that, I can carry on with that. If you prefer more structured model answers, that's also fine. Um, and I know there's a lot of interview questions available on the internet without answers. So if there's some of those that you would like me to answer, please just um, write it in the comments below and I can give you model answers to them. Uh, and then finally, if you want any subject specific questions, uh, for now I will be focusing on uh, economics, management, mathematics related things. But if there are other subjects, please let me know. We've got a whole team of teachers that can just give you the right structures that you would need. Um, so I hope that was really helpful for you. Um, and please leave a comment uh, and subscribe and like if that would, no. Yeah, uh, subscribe and uh, hit notify if you wanna stay up to date with the upcoming videos. As I said, a whole range of subjects coming. Nah, I don't